In this lecture you will get to know the ISO 27000 family of standards. Now the ISO 27000 family of standards is a series of interrelated standards that can be combined to form a comprehensive framework for information security management. There are four categories of standards within this family. Standards describing overview and terminology, standards specifying requirements, standards describing general guidelines, and standards that are describing sector-specific guidelines. Please note how there are normative and informative standards. Only normative standards can be audited for compliance. This allows for organizations to get certified and demonstrate their abilities to outsiders. All standards that are specifying requirements are normative standards. All the other standards are informative standards. Let's have a closer look at standards describing overview and terminology first. This is the case for ISO 27000. ISO 27000 is the root standard in the ISO 27000 series, providing an overview and key definitions related to information security management systems. It establishes the vocabulary and principles that are used throughout the entire series. And the best part about this standard is the fact that it's available for free. Here is where you can find it. All right, how to find ISO 27000. First up, visit ISO.org and in the search bar enter ISO 27000. And this takes us to the official website of the ISO 27000 standard. Now, as you can see, it's free, right? It costs nothing. So you just add it to your card and you're good to go and you have a free standard. However, please be careful. Um, the standard is supposed to be replaced in the coming months by a new version. And this is the version right here. So um, probably going to be released in early 2026. And as you can see, it's no longer free. That's because it's no longer a pure terminology standard. Um, and pure terminology standards are typically free when you visit ISO.org. But this standard will have like more material and it's less about terminology and more about like principles and relationships, which is why it's no longer available for free. So if you want to grab a free standard, um, feel free to check it out. Maybe it's still available, then go ahead and download it. You don't want to miss that. But the new version is here and you can even have a brief look um, at the table of contents. There's a free sample that you can check out. And uh, although this is like a draft and standard, I don't expect like major revisions at this point anymore. So something's about to change, but shouldn't bother us too much. Uh, make sure to grab your free copy um, if, you can, if you still can. And with that, let's move on. Next, let's focus on standards specifying requirements. Remember, these are the standards that contain actual mandates that can be audited for compliance. They are usually referred to as normative standards, which means organizations can get certified by external certification bodies in order to demonstrate compliance to outsiders. And this is the case for ISO 27001, ISO 27006, and ISO 27701. Now, ISO 27001, as you can probably imagine, is the centerpiece of the ISO 27000 family of standards. It provides the basic requirements for an ISMS and is one of the most sought after management system certifications on the market. Now, we are going to dedicate the entire next lecture on this standard, so we won't go into too much detail right now. For now, just be aware that this document specifies the requirements for establishing, implementing, operating, monitoring, reviewing, maintaining, and improving a formalized information security management system within the context of an organization's overall business risk. Next up, ISO 27006. This standard specifies requirements for bodies providing ISO 27001 audits and certifications which is of course not relevant for this course. So maybe in the future, you will reach out to a certification body in order to get audited for ISO 27001 compliance. If this certification body is accredited, then you can be sure that this certification body has been assessed against the requirements of ISO 27006, providing you with assurance that you receive a great audit experience. Released just recently, ISO 27701 contains requirements and guidelines on how to extend an ISMS to a privacy information management system. This should also not bother you, but it's good to know about these standards. As you can see, there is a ton of standards describing general and sector-specific guidelines. Now, these standards provide guidance for all sorts of aspects within the context of implementing, establishing, and running an ISMS. 
This might sound a little complicated, but in fact, it's quite simple. ISO 27001 is the centerpiece of the ISO 27000 family of standards. Now, as you can see, there is plenty of additional standards that somehow complement the core standard, which is ISO 27001. So if you look at the table of contents as outlined here on this mind map, then we can tell that ISO 27001 is basically above all the other standards by providing the general concepts, principles and terminology to use. ISO 27001 is comprised of the management system requirements as described in chapters 4 through 10. If you don't know how to interpret these requirements, you can check out ISO 27003, which provides further guidance on what to do with what you find within these chapters and clauses. If you want to learn more about risk management, which is found in clause 6.1 and to be precise, clauses 8.2 and 8.3, then feel free to check out ISO 27005. You want to learn more about auditing, controls and the management system, 27007 27, and 27, 27007 and 27008. These are the ones to look for in that case. The controls of Annex A bother you. You don't really know what to do. Hey, ISO 27002 is there. And so on and so on. So there's plenty of standards that you can consult if you want to get more information. And that's the beauty of the ISO 27000 family of standards. Now, in fact, it's way more than just the standards that you see here. It's more of like a hundred standards within this family. Let's switch over to ISO.org and I will show you where you can find the full and complete list of this family of standards. All right, now as promised, how to find the complete list of the ISO 27000 family of standards. So for that, let's just enter ISO 27001. And the first result is already a good one. Um, now we are on the official website of the ISO 27001 standard. And now if we go down, then we have some general information about this standard. And here is like the publishers. So which committee actually released these standards? And this takes us to like the uh, Joint Technical Committee 1, the subcommittee 27. And this is like the, the group of people that actually develops these standards. And if you visit their work program, then you get the chance to check out like the standards that they have been working on, that they have already been released. And you can even find those that are still under development. So all you have to do is like filter for like the published ones or those that are still under development. And this is like all the standards that they have prepared. And I mean, like from the number, you can tell it's not 27,001. Um, but if we go down a little bit, then at some point we end up at ISO 27000 and then from here on all the standards with a 27 in the front. So it's really a lot. You can tell it's plenty, plenty stuff to read, plenty good stuff, also like very niche at some point. Um, but overall, um, this is where you can really find uh, what's in store, um, like no guesswork. That's it. That's not more. It's nothing hiding here. So feel free to have a look at that as well.